Malaysian trumpet snails, or MTS for short, are a common snail in freshwater aquaria. It is not uncommon for these snails to show up uninvited in an aquarium, as the young aren't much bigger than a grain of sand, and they reproduce by parthenogenesis. Essentially, the females give birth to more females without the need for a male. One tiny snail can easily hitchhike along with plants or fish and found an entire population in a fairly short time. This species can be recognized by its long pointed shell, which is usually a brownish color with darker flecks, as well as the distinctive long black proboscis with which they sweep the aquarium substrate and glass seeking food. These snails spend much of their time buried underneath the gravel or sand. Some aquarists regard trumpet snails as beneficial, while others consider them pests. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of this species. Pros. This snail will eat surplus food, but keep in mind that they still produce waste. They may eat some algae, though they are not excellent algae eaters. They help aerate substrate gently, much like earthworms do for soil, which is especially beneficial in planted aquaria. I learned from PetShrimp.com that these snails make good tank mates for Opaiula shrimp, which live in brackish water. I have been keeping a population of these snails in 50% ocean water as a cleanup and substrate aeration crew for my Opaiula for over a year. Cons. They can overpopulate a tank. Quickly. They are hard to eliminate. As mentioned before, females give birth without ever mating, so even one tiny solitary snail is enough to found a large population. Their shells are quite hard, and even a fairly small one can damage the impeller blades of your filter. They can survive very harsh conditions. See the end of the video for an example of just how harsh. Control. The first line of defense is to limit the amount of food available to them. This will help prevent them from overpopulating, but will not eliminate them. These snails are also very capable of surviving long periods of time on very little food, so reducing available food is not a great way to reduce an already existing population. If you find yourself with too many trumpet snails, a very effective control mechanism is the assassin snail. I was once given a 55-gallon aquarium with a large number of trumpet snails in it. I was curious to see if the assassin snails could successfully control this species. I added about a dozen assassin snails. Within a month or so, I had to go to the pet store to ask for trumpet snails for my hungry assassin snails. In summary, if you're happy to have these snails, avoid overfeeding your tank and you shouldn't have too many. If you'd rather be rid of them, assassin snails are a very effective means of control. Here's a story to illustrate how tough these snails really are. Years ago, and I do not recommend this, I removed all of my fish and plants from a tank to treat an algae problem by adding chlorine bleach to the water. After a short while, the algae were dead, but as soon as I removed the bleach solution from the tank, trumpet snails began to emerge unharmed from the gravel. How is this possible? As seen here, trumpet snails have a small black shield known as an operculum, with which they can seal off the entrance to their shells to protect themselves. Once the bleach was gone, the snails emerged unharmed from their shells and crawled away, as if nothing had happened.